channel it's been a hot minute since i last uploaded on my channel i was kind of just taking a break and focusing on my mental health i did get officially diagnosed with adhd i will get into that separately in a different video i just wanted to kind of kick start this little series that i'm going to be sharing with you guys spicy mommy takes europe because guess what as you can see this you know where i'm at looks different even though I guess you wouldn't know that this was in my bedroom because I've never actually vlogged in my bedroom at home, but I'm not home. I'm actually not in the country. I'm actually not even in the continent right now. We followed RJ, Bell and I over to Austria, actually. He started a new job and the headquarters is over here in Austria. And so we followed him over here. Also, I did change my hair in case you hadn't noticed. Decided the whole going blonde was not really for me. Also, since we moved to our new house, I feel like the water was really drying out my hair. I felt like my ends were getting so dry that at the end, before I chopped it off, it felt like I couldn't even straighten my hair because the ends just look so gross. We ended up getting like a new filtered shower head for our shower. It started making a difference right away. Like I could feel it on my skin. It wasn't as drying, but even then i was like i don't want to keep treating the hair and i've been wanting to go black i did i like it i really like it i feel like my eyebrows have always been really dark too so it was just like not super drastic on my face if that makes sense it's just a lot less maintenance and with summer and the heat i just thought this was perfect anyways the plan and why i'm here is because i was going to take some time off of work totally separate to RJ having to come over here for training. But then when RJ was told that he was gonna be sent over here, I was like, wow, a month is kind of a long time, you know, for us to be apart. And like Bella's obviously really attached to her dad. So I ended up kind of just moving my dates to actually match the time that RJ was gonna be over here so that we can follow him. Like the whole reason why I wanted to be off work is just because I just wanted to take a break from like my daily routine, my responsibilities. Obviously not this responsibility. I wouldn't trade this one for anything in the world. My mommy, daddy. Your mommy and daddy. Do you love us? Cause we love you. Back to the point, we're in a completely different time zone, which that has been the hardest adjustment I feel like because we're nine hours ahead of Oregon. I feel like that also would have made it really hard with us being apart because then like talking to RJ and Bella seeing him It would have just been a lot. So anyways, I'm really happy that I'm here But I do want to share with you guys a little bit about what the whole journey Getting here to Austria was like it was kind of a mission because I was waiting for HR to let me know if I was gonna be approved or not and that was taking a minute then I finally got approved and so once I got approved I was like well shit Bella doesn't have a passport I knew that I had to go get an emergency passport over at the Seattle uh, passport agency which is the closest one because you have to go to like an emergency passport agency so anyways I called the passport agency to get Bella a passport and this was like the week before we had a fly out because i actually had already bought us we had already gotten our flights and we're like worst case scenario things don't you know line up and we can't go then we'll just cancel bella and i's flight but we wanted to guarantee that we could fly all three of us together have like seats together and everything so we were thinking ahead i guess but we were also getting ahead of ourselves anyways i called the the passport agency and they're like oh, we don't have any appointments available in Seattle. I only have one in Buffalo, New York or Honolulu, Hawaii. There's no way, like I'm not gonna spend $1,500 or who knows how much it would have been honestly to make a whole nother trip to go somewhere else to get Bella a passport plus I would have had to do like a whole separate thing because if I flew by myself I would have had to get like a notarized letter with RJ giving me permission it was just so much easier to go to Seattle because we could both show up and prove that both parents are okay with her getting a passport we're on the phone I was like please like is there anything you can do like Seattle's just the closest thing and she's like no sorry like there's like nothing I can do you really need an appointment while we're on the phone she's like oh wait two appointments just opened up in seattle and i was like i'll take it whatever day whatever time sign me up i had to take a pause because my daughter needed a snack so rj bella and i we busted a mission and we drove up to seattle and it was the perfect warm-up as well to see how bella would do because it was like you know kind of a little 
day trip and her sitting in the car for multiple hours and she did great being a chismosa really paid off because while we were waiting for our appointment i was listening to other people and what they were saying when they would go up and for us our trip wasn't like till like seven days out and i didn't know that i guess you in order to qualify for an appointment your your trip had to be five days or less out. I don't know how that worked out or why they gave me that appointment knowing that was a rule because you have to show proof of travel, okay? So I did have proof of travel, but it was too far out anyways, right? Okay, so this couple's like, oh, we're also, so this is a proof of travel for next week, but this weekend, because it was 4th of July weekend, we're also gonna be traveling to Canada. And they're like, oh, do you have proof? And they're like, oh no, we're driving. They're like, oh, you're driving? Oh, okay. So if you're driving, obviously you can't prove that you're gonna drive until you've already like made the drive. So they're like, oh, okay. So since it's only a couple days out, we're gonna have to give your passport today. So I look at RJ and I'm like, we're fucking going to Canada this weekend. He's like, what? And I'm like, we're going to Canada this weekend. And he's like, okay. So I told him like my whole plan and what I had heard and what like the whole point of us saying that was. So we got up there and I'm like, here's our proof of travel. I was like, but for the long weekend, we're going to be driving up to Canada. So I don't have proof because we're driving. And they're like, oh, okay, well, what time are you going to be driving through here on Friday? And I was like, fuck. I was like Mama. late in the evening after work. And then they're like, oh, so you won't make it in time while the office is still open. And I was like, no. And they're like, okay, we're just going to have to give you your passport today. And I was like, Whew. well played, Vanya. Well played. It paid off to be a freaking chismosa. So we ended up getting the passport the same day. My daughter's just, show us your snacks. Are they yummy? Let me see, eat one. <laughs> They're little dolphins, huh? Bella's actually been doing great with the food over here. She hasn't been picky at all. <laughs> Packing was kind of a mission as well because we ended up getting three big suitcases because obviously we're gonna be here for a month and even though I don't need 30 outfits for each one of us, like we still have to pack a good amount of things and I've never ever traveled with a toddler before. RJ and I feel like are pretty well experienced with traveling, just him and I, but it's so different. Let me tell you, so dif different traveling with a toddler and Bella is such a good, smart little girl that it's not that she's making it necessarily harder, but it's like, you just never know what's gonna happen. Flying, for example, was a little bit hard because the first flight, we flew to Denver, and then from Denver, we flew to Munich and Germany. And then from Germany, we had to drive like about two hours to where we're staying in Austria. Oregon to Denver wasn't too bad. It was like two and a half hours. And you know, she kind of did okay for the most part. There were times where she was just like, get me out of here. Like she wasn't crying, but she was just like bored. Denver to fly to Munich, that was like almost a 10 hour flight. So that was really rough. She still drinks her lechita. She calls it her chita. And she had milk, which was good milk, okay? It was still good milk. We bought it at the airport. She drank it. And I think that with the motion of the plane kind of gave her a little bit of motion sickness because she woke up and she was crying. And I was like, oh shit, you know? Like she didn't cry for a long time. And to be honest, I was ready to throw hands with anyone who had anything to say because I'm like, you don't understand until you're a parent that there's sometimes like you can be prepared and do everything right and your kid might just still like throw a fit or cry or just be upset over something random, you know? Nobody said anything because like I said, she wasn't hysterically crying for that Mommy. long, but she was crying Mommy. that her stomach was hurting. I crying. Yeah, you were crying a little bit, huh? Because your tummy was hurting? And she told me, she's like, Mommy, my tummy hurts. So I was like, oh, maybe she has to poop, you know? And so I thought that's what was gonna happen. She kind of would cough randomly, like a little cough, just like here and there, like, cause the air was so dry. One time she coughed and she was seeing her tummy hurt and she started throwing up guys. And I was like, thank God we had a blanket there. And I grabbed the blanket and just let her throw up on the blanket. And then I wrapped up the blanket, put it in a plastic bag. And I told the flight attendants if they could toss it for us. She kind of threw up a little bit on my pants. So then we went to the bathroom, got us all cleaned up. Note to self, I need to pack way mommy, more extra clothes. Mommy, it poops. Yeah, you also pooped, huh? It's okay, everybody poops. 
finally made it and then we had to go through customs get our bags get the rental car all of that went pretty fast and i think we were just happy to be off the plane that's like the longest flight i've ever been on looking at the clock and i was like fuck we still have four hours to go like please just get me out of here and now that we're here in austria rj got like they put him in a little apartment it, it is small because it's meant for one person, but his work did accommodate to get like a bigger bed for us and stuff because obviously nos vinimos at Chicles. It has like a little kitchenette, it has like a bathtub. It's like, you know, it's like perfect. And I was telling RJ, it's gonna be nice and good for my mental health too, to give me more clarity, just to live a lot more minimalistic. I don't know if that's me using the term right. Anyway, so I just kind of wanted to tell you guys the little mission and journey as to how we ended up here in Europe. One little thing though that I'll say that's been the biggest pain in the ass, aside from like the language being so different, their standard for water here is sparkling water. And I'm just like, I just want plain, basic, flat water, like still water. Anyways, mommies, I don't wanna make this video too, too long. I just wanted to make a quick little intro to the series, kinda let you guys know everything that happened and how we ended up here in Austria. Make sure that you subscribe make sure that you like this video remember mommy stay spicy stay positive and i'll see you guys on the next one peace how american of me is it that i'm wearing an in and out t-shirt right now like this is my mom fit of the day but like i feel like if people see me they're gonna be like we get it girl you missed the fucking gmos it's actually pretty hot today it's like 82 degrees but i feel like even though the last few days have been in like the low mid 70s it's been feeling like 10 degrees hotter I also already stand out now that I dyed my hair because everyone here is either blonde or brown hair and for the first time ever I have black hair and RJ has really dark black hair so I feel like we're like who are those foreigners you know for the most part everybody's pretty nice or they completely mind their business which is like all I ever wanted in America okay now see you guys on the next one